Well, I, I'm still trying to formulate some fundamental question which I can't uh, grip or uh, ra entirely see at the moment. Perhaps I can sort of walk around it a bit and ask one or two different sorts of questions for a moment. Uh, You feel um, the, the idea of duty, I think, is very... Duty? Uh, duty, yes. The idea of duty, I think, is a fundamental one in uh, most moral systems. Yes. I mean, the yes. philosophers argue about it, but there it is. People uh, are taught, when they are growing up, they're taught duties. That duty is They ought to tell the truth, for instance. Yeah. And other things being equal, yeah. uh, yeah. they ought to tell the truth. Perhaps they ought always to tell the truth. Well, uh, you shy away from the idea of yes. duty. Uh, I feel <coughs> responsibility is better than duty. Well, all right. Well, then, but responsibility then, a sense of responsibility would be a sense of duty. No. Well, I, I, under some circumstances, uh, yeah. I, one could extend yeah, the yeah, two ideas yeah, in different directions, yeah. but you would rather call it a sense of responsibility? Responsibility, yes. Yes. Because if I... Responsibility implies care, Yes. Affection. Yes. A sense of communication with the with other person. Yes. Not doing something because you're obliged to do, or disciplined to do, or told to do. But you be responsible. If I undertake to build a house, I'm responsible for building yes. a house. Yes. If I'm responsible for my children, I will be responsible completely. Mm. Not only till they pass out of my house, but I would see that they live properly, brought up, no killing, no. We fall. Yes, my, there would my, be no limits to no the, limits uh, yes. to responsibility. Yes. yes, I mean uh, one connects perhaps duty with uh, very definite things yes. which yes. have to be done. But on the other hand, if you some, take something like a duty to tell the truth, that's something so fundamental. No, is but it really it's, uh, I, telling the truth is. Is part of my responsibility. I wouldn't yes. be dishonest to myself. Yes. Well, don't let's worry then about about the word duty. But this is a, a case where one's dealing with a, an aspect of human life which is um, which belongs to the continuity of life. Continuity and, of life. Uh, would you say that? Just by that being so, that it is a, an everyday notion, which we, um, which is part of the decent moral yeah. continuity of, oh, of a society's life, would you regard it as being essentially different from what we are talking about this morning, for, from the the real thing yes. and yes. from love? Yes, I would consider it different. But I I don't see quite where the division comes. I mean, there are I'm always trying to build up yes, around I see, no, I see structures, the which uh, I want to see where uh, the division comes between um, ordinary, what we would call goodness or moral behaviour, <coughs> and this <coughs> fundamental thing. Could we start, why are we fragmented? Why do we look at life and all our actions and our business, whatever it is, always this fragment, business, religion, uh, love, hate, you follow? Mm -hmm. It's all so broken up. Well, I, I mean... Why? Uh, Why do we do this? Well, life, life uh, has to be dealt with. I yes, mean, every day but why should I accept life, life to be dealt with in this way? I think because it, to unify it, I mean, to have a unitary, I mean, you seem to feel that we should have some kind of completely unitary selflessness, which then isn't I mean, divisible. It, yes, that's it. But then, I mean, let's say the words, words like truth and love... Uh, are one. If there is love, there is truth. There is beauty. Yes. Um, this is, is so. Um, uh, if one is looking at it in a in a philosophical sense, but somebody no, in actual sense, I mean, if I if I really love, there is beauty in it. 
Then yes, I, well, yes. I can't be dishonest. Yes, beauty is, is, is a, a more difficult concept for this purpose, I, at least I, I feel. Uh, what worries me is um, the point of connection between uh, the truth which is love, the fundamental truth, and ordinary conceptions of truth, as in tell the truth. Oh, yes, I, I <coughs> <coughs> suppose I've lied. Mm. Hmm? And I acknowledge I've lied. Mm. I acknowledge if I've been tr angry. That's mm. that's honesty. Mm. That is the truth in ordinary sense of the word. Yes. I don't uh, cover up my lie with lots of phony stuff. Mm. I say that I've lied. Mm. I've been angry. I've been sorry. I've I've been brutal. It's it's. I think we are so trained to cover up all this kind of thing, to escape from all this, not being terribly honest to oneself. Yes. Well, how does this connect with with uh, you? Uh, one of the things which I think you are very much concerned with is overcoming conflict. Yes. And overcoming separatist yes, that's thinking right. and so on. Uh, this then does suggest that there's some... Uh, you make uh, these distinctions between desire and love, love for instance, uh, and uh, you then bring truth into the centre by saying that love is truth. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Um, but this um, d doesn't seem to me to connect very easily, and this is where the idea of uh, my ideas there, but pure, purifying desire or something would come in. The, this doesn't connect very easily with ordinary moral life. No. I mean, it looks as if one would have two judgments of morality. You'd say he's a good man in the ordinary sense of the word, but is, is an imperfect man in your sense of the word. Uh, yes. And uh, isn't it important, I can't think of a way of putting this, for, for you, I'm thinking of you as someone wishing well to, to, to men, uh, isn't it important for you to make connections? Yes, I see this. Yeah. Look, let us... I, I would ask myself, or I'd ask my friend, why are we fragmented first? Well, you want to go back to a metaphysical question right well, at the beginning. Of course, that from there you have to start. Yes, yes I do, yes. I, yes. This, this is your feeling that, that we we must be right at the beginning all yes, the time. Yes, all the time. And uh, I mean, I, this, I like this too, in a way, and what you say about new, that what you want is something new, you use, use the word new, yes. that is not the acquired collection yes, yes. of what I mean, one has, but I, something new. I mean, I've asked these students in my normal discussions, why is it we are fragmented like this, broken up? Mm. What's, what has gone wrong with us? After so millions of years, we are still fighting, we are killing each other, we are angry. You follow what I mean? What's wrong? Well, there's a, there's a sense of, of conflict or fragmented, which is bad, which means that we're fighting. But there's also ordinary discursive reason and uh, how we set about getting to know things. Yes, and, uh, yes. So, for instance, I, want to, isn't necessarily I use my reason to see why the world is divided into these kind of things, like nationality, religion. You know what's happening in India, the Sikhs. Yes, yes. And the Jews, the Arabs. Yes. Why? Why well, do we accept this way of living? Well, yes, but I, I think there's a kind of uh, empirical, ordinary answer to this, that we can try and stop it by doing all sorts of things like people do when they talk to other people. And, uh, but we don't, Mela. The fact is we've never done it. We haven't stopped this division. I mean, if I had a son with an Arab woman, a son with a Jew, uh, Israeli woman, I, what am I to do? I'm the fighting. Yes, a part, I think, you wouldn't deny this, would you, that part of uh, what you want to communicate uh, is uh, something which would have practical effects it has practical. in politics. Yes, politics, really, of daily yes. life. Yes. Uh, 
which is I would say, look, don't let's start with theories and all that. Let's start why we human beings right throughout the world are so broken up, so divided in ourselves. But this is, this is partly a... Um, it seems to me it's partly, a, it's partly an empirical question in that you could say why we can find out why um, a certain religion held certain views at a certain time and uh, separated off. One could study Christianity in this way, but one, there's a sort of metaphysical question yes. which I would think is partly unanswerable. I mean, it's like saying, well, why, why, why are there human beings? No. I mean, <laughs> where, uh, one must say, well, I don't... I don't know. I mean, some I mean, people who believe in God would say course, I mean, God I, created the world. I mean, and, and the scientists have different yes. reasons for we uh, Yes, I mean, the, the, if you exclude the empirical answer, you're asking a, a kind of metaphysical question, which no, in a way can't be I think it's very can't be answered. Why, why is it, now I'd like to ask, is it that thought itself is fragmented? Well, I think thought itself is fragmented, and it seems to me in a sense, uh, unavoidably so. I mean, what we're doing now, using a, a natural language, language and, yeah. and concepts yeah. and uh, yeah. using words yeah. which we've learned to understand yeah. and so on, this is something which depends on uh, um, a spreading out of interest to the world yes. in many, many different ways. I so mean, the word discursive sort of covers, covers this quite, quite. kind of, of uh, notion that uh, the intellect has to spread itself out. It has to uh, emerge into language and so on. It can't be a compact, no. can't no, be of course one, not. Of course not. Uh, which many philosophers want. They want to think that there's, there's a one. But in your rejection of um, uh, you won't allow, you, you don't seem to me to allow, to put it this way, the redemption of the world. I mean, the bringing of the world into, um, into the center, into, into goodness, in, into truth. Uh, yes, I, I, be, I say yes, it must be. Well, yes, but then one can't get rid of all fragmentation. One's got to redeem it, if you see what I mean. Yes. Get rid of all bad right, fragmentation. Let's redeem it. Hell. Let us re mm. re Now, human beings, why, have they, why are they like this? Let's redeem that. Not intellectually explaining, but the fact, daily fact. Why is it that there is such conflict, such violence? Well, again, when there are many, I mean, if, one takes, if it takes Ireland, for yes. instance, I mean, there are many reasons, of course, of course. Uh, historical reasons, yeah. why there is a conflict Yes, in yes, Ireland. I know. But you're, you're thinking of a much deeper thing. Much deeper, yes. natural. Which, uh, but it seems to me this, this I can't, if, well, if somebody asks me that, I mean, I would say I, I haven't, I can't answer the metaphysical question. What I can say is uh, why ought it not to be so? And this uses the word ought, which you don't want. <laughs> quite, quite, quite. Uh, that uh, we have a conception of goodness, uh, which, uh, uh, from which we spread, as it were, um, all kinds of uh, thought and action into the world, this is putting it very badly, no, I'm saying, I'm uh, uh, hoping that gradually we can make the world better, better. And, make, and remove conflict in the, in the superficial I, sense and in the deeper sense too. We have lived on this earth, according to scientists and biology and all the rest of it, at least two or three million years, mm. evolved. Mm. We are still at it. Yes, we are. Um, I mean, uh, just look uh, what is happening. Uh, and who can say what the future holds? Uh, uh, but... The future it, is what we are now. If we don't do something now, we'll be exactly tomorrow. Yes, but what we can do now is uh, something very limited, really. We can do something to ourselves. Yes. And we but can do something to a small number of people. people. But ourselves is the world. And we can also take part in politics, which yes, is a way but of... Yes, but I am the rest of the world. Because my consciousness is like the rest of mankind. Yes, you mean that if, if you can do it, other people can do it. Any, I mean, if I change, I affect it. Yes, well, there's also the fact that one has a very limited amount of time in which uh, to... That's why, that's why... insight. 
<laughs> That's why don't let time interfere with this question. I have, I have, I, I am a human being. I, <coughs> my way of life, my way of thinking, my action, is comparatively like the rest of mankind. Yeah. They may have outward different, but deeply, I'm the rest of mankind. I'm, I am mankind. Well, except that you're a very unusual person, but leave no, that aside. No, no, I am mankind, yes. because I, they have, we all suffer, we all go through a yeah. hell of a time. Yeah. So, I am the rest of mankind, so I am humanity. That is, that is real love. Yes, but what, uh, how does this... Um, Therefore, I mean, see, I'll show you. If somebody says, well, all right, but you're just you, you're by yourself. I mean, you're, you may be showing what is a human no, potential. But, you yes, but you show what a human come and join me, could come do. and join me. Yes, well, I, I, uh, um, come and let go of your petty little uh, nationalisms and all the rest. Come and join, be, let's be free and look at the world differently. And not always keep in conflict with each other. Every husband, wife, we, madam, this is happening every day of, my, of one's existence. Yes, but I, I can't help putting the problem in terms of uh, how much uh, influence uh, no, uh, can, practically, practically, after all, can it, one have. And if one is going to teach people, uh, don't let's think of, you know, of you and me now, but if no, anybody uh, uh, wants to uh, influence people in order to b bring about the end of this period of conflict and so on, they have to involve themselves in persuasion in politics, for instance. You see what has happened. And many people would say, I mean, many people do say now that... Uh, to worry about your own soul and whether uh, uh, you, you uh, are selfless or not is a waste of time. We must simply go and help other people. Yeah. Go and stop we, people from suffering. Yes, they have help other people. Mm. Hmm? Mm. See what is happening with those people who are helping and those people who are helped. Mm. Well, uh, you can see what there is very little. Hitler wanted to, for the same, Buddha said, Two, he said, uh, mankind suffers, there must be end to suffering, right? Mm -hmm. And look what they have done. Suffering is going on. Yes. So, uh, when, when you think, uh, sorry, I keep wanting to turn it around a bit so that I can, I can uh, get a bit more light. Um, when you speak of overcoming conflict and overcoming suffering, um, Not overcoming, ending. Ending, mm. yes. Um, are you thinking of um, a kind of... Uh, I mean, is this anything like what a, a Buddhist uh, would think of as nirvana? Apparently nirvana means, from what I've discussed with people, a state in which the self is not. The self, in the sense, all the turmoil and all that, come to that point. Don't discuss what nirvana is. You will find out. Yes, I, I mean, I, I would understand something like this as meaning um, that one uh, is in a, a selfless condition That's and the denial of the world is, is the meaninglessness I, 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 of. That's what they've done. All these. These mm -hmm. other yeah. things which deny are, the uh, world. Yes, but then. But I don't say deny the world. On the contrary, we have to live here. Yes. I mean, if if one thinks of um, um, Plato's image of the cave, uh, the, that you are in the darkness, and then gradually you move out into the light. Yeah, yeah. He also speaks about coming back into the cave, uh, uh, by which I think he means that you find some kind of liberation for yourself. But then you have to liberate everybody else as well. So that's the point. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole sense of bodhisattva and all that, I won't go into all yes, that. But yes. if you change fundamentally, mm. won't it affect the mankind? I, it'll affect a certain number of people. Uh, no, you'll, uh, 
Look, Christianity has affected how many th millions? Yes, certainly. I was about to say that uh, there are uh, cases like like the life of Christ, whether Christ really existed yeah, no, that is as a historical man or not. Uh, the image of Christ Therefore has I'm changed people's lives. Through propaganda, mm. they have changed, right? Yes. They have, etc. Now, Buddhism has affected the whole of Asia. Yes. Yes, all right, but you would go on to say that nevertheless... Yes. Yeah. I say, let's few of us work at this. Then we'll mm. change the world. But we, I think we have had great teachers who have had a great deal of influence, who have, uh, as far as I can see, advocated uh, a kind of selflessness, which yes, is not freedom. unlike what you are yes, speaking of. Freedom. Uh, freedom from the self. But what, what is one to do? I mean, I, it doesn't seem to me that... Oh, no. Uh, no, of course, what is one to do requires sitting down, talking about it, going into it. Right? Naturally. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think this... this and breaking down barriers between is, us. We've come perhaps on to a slightly different kind of question, a, a question about, uh, about influence and, and... I don't want to influence him. No. That's the worst thing to happen, because if I influence you, somebody else will come around and influence you too in another direction. Ah, uh, well, yes, but I But if you really. see something for yourself, it's clear. Ah, uh, well, yes, that... Uh, 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 that again is something which we agree about, that you have to do the thing yourself. Yes. It's no good being told by somebody. Therefore, else. no propaganda, no so, I mean, this programming. Is what, this is something which I think theologians are realizing now, that you can't have God thrust upon you. I mean, whatever uh, the spiritual life is, is something which you have to discover for yourself and no, appropriate. In for the yourself. spiritual world, you, there's no authority. Yes, yes I, 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 I agree. Mean, but uh, now well. everything is there. They want authority. People want some kind of security in authority. Yes, well, I, I don't myself see any answer to the problem of, of uh, how um, the discovery of spiritual truth, or whatever this may be, um, can change the world. I, I, that is, I, you perhaps have more hope for the world than I have. <laughs> no, I am neither pessimistic nor optimistic. Mm. But I see, unless there are few of us radically change the whole psychological structure, we are not, we are going down the hill all the time. That's all. Yes. Well, I, I well, I, I agree with that too. Uh, I mean, if the world lost people who were concerned with what you're concerned with, I, I think that it would lose its. It's centre. Yes, right? I, that's what I mean. Yes. But there, there are very few people who are concerned yes. to be totally free from all this. Yes. But then you you want uh, to put it sort of bluntly, as it were. You want there to be more of such people, but at the same time you reject um, traditional is. methods of, uh, for instance. Um, uh, ideas of duty, ideas of asceticism, and so on, which have been, as it were, part of the training no, of people no. who achieve no, perhaps. Why, this why state. should I be trained? If I see something to be true, I stick to it. Why yes, should I but train? I think it? you've probably had a gift of grace, or what a Christian would call grace, which a lot of people haven't had. That is, the, what you achieve easily would be very, very difficult to achieve for the majority of people. I mean, perhaps that may be, but I mean, after all, there must be... All right, if you use the word grace, all right, be in a state to receive that. Mm. Yes, yes. Which means yes. don't be selfish, don't be... Yes. Have conflict, have some kind of inward silence. Yes, I, 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 I agree entirely entirely with this. Uh, yes, I, I think, I mean, don't let's argue about the question of influence or politics, no. because I can, I, I, I understand your yeah, that's position no meaning. Yeah, I think I, I would think, uh, I mean, I would feel that <coughs> it is perhaps important uh, to try in certain ways to influence the one's surroundings, but uh, I mean, I know that this is full of Difficulties. I'd rather, in a way, stick to the.
question we were worrying at this morning, though I, I don't quite see how to find the way of, of uh, enlightening myself on this subject. Uh, it's, it's partly to do with, with, with the question of time and fragmentation. The t time is fragmentation. Yes. Uh, so and that's it. Yes. Uh, to, to be free of time. Yes. Uh, to, to be that f means no movement uh, forward. Yes, f f free and, yeah, and yeah. in the truth and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and love, and not to be acquiring and not to be planning. Yes, that's right. Uh, How, I mean, uh, would one, if one were in this, uh, um, if one had this kind of insight, or however you want to put it, w w would one know that one had it? I think one wouldn't know, but you, it was show in your actions. Yes, yes. In your daily life. Yes. But you, you do accept then that um, uh, that there are two. It seems to me that you are thinking in terms of two entirely different planes, and I am wanting to connect the two. No, and I, you think, I think this there's a, no. There's a physical plane, right? Yes. Well, there's a psychological plane, yeah, and then also which is yes, yeah, what we are speaking about. What we are the talking about all the time. Yes, yes. Psychological plane. Why should there be division there? Why should no. there be superior psychology or lower psychology? It is a whole psychology. Y yes, uh, I mean some. I mean some kind of redemption. I, I introduced the word redemption. It doesn't matter. Yes, I understand. Uh, I understand. Uh, of of the um, sort of psychological hurly burly of one's mind. Yeah. I mean, it seems to me it can happen in a quite ordinary way. I mean, people wouldn't be puzzled by it, it would just be, be a sort of natural function. See, uh, I would to be redeemed by whom? Well, I, if I look to you to be redeemed, I'm lost. Yes, I'm not thinking of being redeemed in the Christian sense. No, no, you know, or in I, any... I just mean by redeemed, I just mean that, that something which is fragmented is drawn yeah, in, yeah. I'm using an image of, yes, uh, I understand. of, a, of a center and of outlying parts. Uh, I mean, picture somebody, what, what I'm trying to... to I'm, I'm, all the time trying to discover where, just where this divide is, that you make a divide between, say, the life of a very good man. I mean, let's... Ordinary take, sense. Good. Yes, of an ordinary, ordinary, very virtuous man who's been very unselfish in the ordinary sense and, and uh, uh, done a lot of good to people and so on. Between that life and um, the, oh, the life other. of truth. And that's totally different. Well, why is it totally different? Of course it is. I mean, you can say, this seems to be a metaphysical uh, remark to say it's totally yes. different. Yes, I know both. both. Yes. <laughs> you don't mind. Both, both are metaphysical. <laughs> yes, go on. Go on. Mm. I know, after all, the self is a very subtle, cunning thing. It can hide under prayers. Oh, absolutely, yes. It can hide under every little action, mm -hmm. thinking yes. it's noble. Yes. Yes. I'm helping mankind. Yes, yes, yes. I am influenced for the good. Yes, yes. yes. I am I'm really a remarkable person, admired by everybody, in brackets, as it were. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes. to understand that, the, what the self is, you require such observation, such in daily looking at it. Not just say I'm free at one moment and say that's it, but it requires such attention to yes. everything that so, you're doing. So uh, you would uh, think that if somebody was entirely absorbed in uh, outward action, as it were, that's, that's the most dangerous. wouldn't be in the truth. <laughs> that's the most else. dangerous thing. So a certain amount of of uh, of fundamental quietness. I mean, this could be compatible with doing 
uh, the, an active the, life. Uh, that silence life. is not the product of thought. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, okay, that's good, yes. Uh, that um, silence is yes, not yes. to be cultivated. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I think I, I believe in the, that silence too. Uh, silence, quiet. It, it's, uh, Inside there is no movement. Yes. And this would connect with, with what you say about living in the present. Yes. Yes. Um, and and uh, timelessness. I don't know this. Is, you know, meditation is an extraordinary thing, you know. <coughs> I've talked to various types of people who meditate, yes, yes. Tibetan, Hindu, yes. Buddhist, uh, Zen, <coughs> uh, you know, all the rest yes. of them. It's all a conscious, deliberate effect. Mm. It isn't something you do for the love of it. Yes. Not medit for the love, you can love for the, and yet be selfish. Mm. But I, I mean in the sense, <coughs> to do meditation without con conscious effort. Yes, uh, I think any means that one adopts towards goodness is likely to become a barrier. Absolutely. Uh, um, it's likely to, because one, one uh, seeks idols. I mean, oh, we, are, we are idol worshippers. Oh, that's finished. Yes. That's not uh, meditation. Uh, that one seeks um, a consolation in the feeling that you're doing something. Uh, yes, but nevertheless, uh, doing it uh, c could uh, uh, could help you. I no, mean, no, I, I've talked to people who have spent years. Please, yeah. I mean it. Yes, twenty-five yeah. years. Mm. Yes, and they come, and the man came to me, who was about seventy, much older than I was, and he said, "I've spent twenty-five years in the jungle, mm -hmm. of wandering over, now begging, mm. and." I've deceived myself all along. Well, he used to be congratulated, I suppose. Yeah, I know, that's he, so he, something. He was prepared to say something mm. like that, because people uh, Therefore, that don't often to admit. To be really quiet is something mm. you can't cultivate, you can't get it by practice and all the rest of it. So it is your daily life you have to be quiet. It comes by a gift, perhaps. No. You had daily life, man. Otherwise, well, you if you say, what's the I, value I don't, of your quietness? If your daily life is not effective, if your daily life isn't <coughs> without conflict. Well, of course. I mean, this is why. I mean, I, I'm constantly wanting to say that the, the connection with one's daily life is is a fundamental idea. Yes. I mean, if somebody claimed to have this quietness but behaved badly in ordinary life, I would be skeptical. I know some are. Yes. I'm. Yes. Mm. Uh, so that your, I think, what, what your, I mean, uh, uh, my own thoughts on, on this subject are, I think, influenced by Plato. And uh, I think, or I feel, perhaps, that something that you're insisting on is the, which he also insisted on, was the absolute separateness. Huh? The absolute separateness of the, this idea of the timeless and eternal. That it, it's... It's quite separate from what we ordinarily think of yes. as goodness, which yes. is a kind of idolatry. Idolatry, yes. quite, quite. And he uses the image of, of destroying idols, that you destroy images, you destroy idols, mm. and you go on. But of course, he does picture life as a pilgrimage in a way in which I think you don't. <laughs> you don't want to think no, because the idea I, of the pilgrimage I, I itself. Mean, if, I have, if I have no images in myself, Huh? About anything, mm. I have, I'm, there's no self in there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, uh, that you're really picturing uh, what many spiritual people have thought of as the end of the journey. I mean, that you're at the end, except that you want to insist that, of course, one is already, um, in a sense, potentially at the end, or uh, that there is only. And one has to be careful of that too, because the. Hindus believe there's God, there's Atman inside, mm -hmm. and that give him a chance, peel off your ignorance, and then you'll be like that. That's an assumption. I don't want to assume anything. 
Well, I, uh, yes, I think there's a metaphysical, I wouldn't call it assumption, because uh, it's something I agree with. So I it is an idea. It is an but, idea. Yes, but this, this is a, a metaphysical assertion. Yeah. Or, or a religious, or you wouldn't want to use the word religious because that might be misleading. Yeah, I would yes. really suggest a yes. concept which has, yes. um, which has been cultivated, which has been traditional. Mm. Yes. And that's yes. no meaning. Because, look, I have this concept, I am, the God is in me, and then I go and kill somebody. Well, Yes, I mean, uh, uh, anything involving the idea of a god is, of course, already, in a sense, an idol. That's all I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. We have idol worshippers, whether it's phys handmade or mental, yes. <laughs> made by the mind. Yes. So that the... Um, um, well, I, yes, the, the absoluteness of the division for you, and, and I, I, I think I perhaps see what you mean, I'm not quite sure, between uh, the ordinary process of life and this being in the truth, uh, which is, is something which is, uh, lives in the present in the way in which something eternal must live in the present, if yes. you see what I mean. Uh, you, you must insist on it being quite separate yes. from the world of the idols. Yes. Yes. Absolutely, of course. Yes. Well, that... that After all, that should be... Man's search has been for eternity. Yes. Well, that's what, what people... No, they made an idea of it. Yes. Which is not continuation of time. Of course. Of course. Quite the, the it's the end of time. time. Yes. 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 Well, I think, thinking about Plato, I, I, I come to some... Uh, some understanding of, of, uh, of what you've been saying. It's help us too. I think we must end here, yes. Mm. Oh we'll dear. Be well, we better stop, sir. Yes, I think we must stop. Uh,